Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My God, it's uh, been a little bit of a crazy week, I'd say. Let me actually just move this. Maybe, maybe right there. Beautiful, got to have the Constitution in there. Maybe uh, Joe Biden should uh, reread it. Maybe the ATF, the FBI, all of them. Okay. So I imagine most of you have seen that there was some kind of shooting at uh, UNLV. If there was someone who is mentally disturbed and they do something dumb, do you blame whatever they used? Right, so if a mentally ill person took a crowbar to somebody's head at a gas station, are you like, God, that crowbar should have never been here. It should have been locked up and, and, and you know, it's a problem. No, you blame the mind. The mind can be a great thing and it also can be the worst thing in the world. But for some reason, whenever a shooting happens, we go straight to, oh, oh it's, it's the gun. The guns are the problem. Well, Joe Biden, on this one, it bites you in the ass because you said something that hit so close to home for you that if people were curious if you're mentally all there, this answers that question. But just so everyone knows, the dude who shot up this place, he was a weirdo. He was wacky. I mean, seriously, how many sane people do you think have thoughts every day about shooting up a place? It's not a normal thought process for someone who can think clearly, who has a conscience, who understands that, look, everyone has family. Everyone has someone that they care about, and I'm not gonna cause that kind of damage for people. If someone can't think clearly, it doesn't matter if they have a rocket launcher or an AR-15 or a crowbar. It doesn't matter. So of course, Joe Biden gets up there on his, uh, I don't know, he, he went to UNLV or, or Vegas and decided to go and talk about this. And they really should have, I don't know, AI or the chick who talks for him at the press conferences just go up there and talk for him at this point because he, he can't even talk anymore. Everyone, big thank you to Blackout Coffee for sponsoring today's video, the official coffee of heavy duty country. We have grown exponentially this year, all because of you guys. Many of you are loyal customers. We just moved into a huge facility. We're still working on the permits for all of it, but I gotta say it is so refreshing to see so many people support a company that is owned by people that will not sway on their beliefs. Anyways, I always recommend Brutal Awakening because my God, Back in the rodeo days, nothing did it for me other than a dark roast coffee. But the holiday blends, they are amazing. And I got a sweet tooth, so anything that doesn't have all of the crap in it, like sugar and artificial sweeteners and all that stuff, I go for. So we're giving you a discount below the video. If you haven't joined the family, join us. Big things are coming for Blackout Coffee. And thank you again. He can't get through a dang speech without you being like, okay, let me rewind it. And two days later, a gunman opened fire at the University of Las Nevada, Las Vegas. Three people killed, a fourth now and hospitalized. I'm grateful the law enforcement officers risked their lives in the safety of shooting and spree video. Look, I own a couple shotguns. I, 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 I haven't shot them in a while because I used to usually just make target practice, shoot, skeet shooting. Look, Joe, we, we know that you own a couple of shotguns. You've made that very clear. You stick that double barrel out on the balcony and you pump two blasts. So, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. We know. Just because you own guns does not mean that you're for the Second Amendment. And you are living proof of that. So much gun violence, 2017 shooting, still in the minds of so many people I was out here meeting with the families. Folks, we got to get smart. There have been over 600 mass shootings in America this year alone. If I can just say, if we're going to get smart, can we get someone else up there? No, I'm, no, I'm serious. If we're going to get smart, you say you haven't been skeet shooting in a while because you, you just don't have time. I really doubt that you work that much. You have everyone making decisions for you. But I have a, a just a wild opinion that you probably haven't gone skeet shooting. If you can't get through a speech or walk on a stage without forgetting where you are, most likely people probably don't want to go shooting with you. And they damn sure ain't going to let you go out the woods and do it by yourself. Oh, uh, is it loaded? I don't know. Let me point it off the balcony. We need Congress to step up. The idea, if you were driving your automobile here and you left in the key in the, in the, in the parking lot, you left the key in the ignition and the kid came up and jumped in and stole it, 
and they got in a crash, you're liable civilly. Why in God's name do people not have to lock up their firearms? Why is that not a requirement? You know, thank you so much for bringing this up again. Um, this is the second time that you've said this, almost verbatim to the last time you said it. But why don't we just cut to the chase and talk about what exactly is on your mind? Let's repeat this really quick. Why shouldn't it be a requirement for people to lock up their firearms? Hey, hey man, have you heard of someone named Hunter Biden? Do you hear about his situation with a gun? How his gun was in his vehicle? And his wife took the gun, it wasn't locked, and dumped it in a trash can next to a school. You don't remember that? I mean, you're literally telling people your son's situation and then saying, well, yeah, we, we, we need all this gun control. Dude, why don't you figure out your son first? A father doesn't say, you know what? I'm going to go out in the world today and figure out everybody's issues, but my son, I'm just going to let him keep fucking up. Before we end here, I just like Biden to, I don't know, repeat himself once again, as if repeating himself once before in the speech wasn't enough. Here we, here we go. Because, you know, the Second Amendment didn't say you can own any gun, you can own any weapon. You couldn't own a cannon when, you were, when the Second Amendment was passed. You couldn't. Anyway, don't get me started. But. Who is getting you started? Do you think that you're having a conversation with someone? Or are you making a speech, right? No one is there to be like, oh, no, fuck off, man. I mean, I, I would hope people are thinking it there. You're getting yourself started with your gibberish. And by the way, you could own a cannon and you still can. So... And more communities from being torn apart by gun violence. <clears throat> <laughs> then then uh, start with your son. Thank you.